Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is a brief history of computer storage technology. But first is the first. Let's talk about digital storage units. A bit is the smallest data unit in computing and digital technology. It can represent one of two values, 0 or 1, and is the fundamental building block of digital information. A byte is a fundamental unit of digital storage. One byte is equal to 8 bits. A byte can represent a single character such as a letter or number. Now take a look at the chart. Data unit in byte, kilobyte. Kilo means 1000, but 1 kilobyte is 1024 bytes to be exact. Megabyte. 1 megabyte is 1024 to the second power bytes to be exact. 1 gigabyte is 1024 to the third power bytes. 1 terabyte is 1024 to the fourth power bytes. Terabyte is an enormous data unit, but we can understand its size. The following four data units, petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, and yottabyte, are colossal. They are beyond our comprehension because we don't use them in everyday situations. Well, let's look at the diagram to illustrate the storage size from byte to yottabyte. One byte is one character, then one kilobyte is about a half page of text. A megabyte is a reasonable unit for a song or a piece of music. A standard DVD movie can have 5 to 8 gigabytes. One terabyte is about 1 to 200 stacks of DVDs. The terabyte might be a file storage size we can comprehend. One petabyte can be 50 story high stacks of DVDs. Exabyte, well, just like thinking about all the sands on the whole earth. Whatever it is, it is colossal. Zettabyte and yottabyte, I don't even know how to visualize them. Or we can try another way. Suppose we think of one byte as one second. Then one kilobyte is 17 minutes. One megabyte is like 12 days, and one gigabyte is 34 years. One terabyte is like 35,000 years. A petabyte is like 36 million years. Exabyte is like 37 billion years. Well, zettabyte and yottabyte, again, both numbers would be mind-blowing. A brief history of storage technology. Computer storage technology has come a long way from punch cards to floppy disks, CDs to DVDs, HDDs to SSDs, and flash drives to cloud. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this journey. Punch cards. Punch cards were a computer storage medium from the 1950s till 2012. A punch punched card is a piece of card stock that stores digital data using punched holes. A standard IBM punch card has 80 columns and 12 rows. A punch card could store approximately 6,400 bits of information or 800 bytes. The first magnetic storage media appeared in the 1950s. They were tapes that could store a lot of data using magnetism. Some big data centers still use them today to back up their data. Floppy disks were the next big thing from the 1970s to the 2000s. They were thin and flexible disks that you could carry around. They came in different sizes, but the most common were 3.5 inches and 5.25 inches across. They had very little storage space usually less than 2 megabytes. In 1994, Bill Gates made a bold claim. He held a shiny CD-ROM disk that could store data using lasers. He said it could store more data than all the papers he was sitting on. Many people thought he was crazy, but he was right. CD-ROMs were much better than floppy disks. They could store around 700 megabytes of data. DVDs, or digital versatile disks, were introduced in the 1990s. They were disks that could store data 
using lasers like CD-ROMs, but with more uh, capacity. A single-layer DVD could store up to 4.7 gigabytes of data, and a dual-layer DVD could store up to 8 to 5 GB of data. They were ideal for movies and large software programs. Blu-ray discs were similar to DVDs, but with even more capacity. A single-layer Blu-ray could store up to 25 GB of data, and a dual-layer Blu-ray could store up to 50 GB. Hard disk drives, HDDs, store and retrieve data using magnetism. They had spinning disks inside them that read and write data with magnetic heads. They were known for having large storage capacities at a low cost. This is a photo of an old hard disk drive from 1956. It was large and very heavy, weighing more than a ton. It could only store 5 megabytes of information, which is very small by today's standards. For comparison, a single photo taken with a modern smartphone can easily be larger than 5 megabytes. Solid state drives, or SSDs in short, are storage devices that use flash memory to store data. They were developed in the 2000s. They are faster and more reliable than HDDs that use spinning disks and magnetic heads. SSDs are also quiet because they do not have any moving parts. SSDs are mainly used instead of HDDs today. USB flash drives came to the market in the late 1990s. They were the ultimate portable storage devices. They are small, durable, and offer various storage capacities from a few megabytes to several terabytes. They became a favorite choice for carrying and transferring data because they are so convenient. About the same period in the 2000s, cloud storage became popular. Some cloud storage examples include Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, and iCloud. These services allow users to store and access their data remotely, making it accessible anywhere with an internet connection. Storage technology continues to evolve. With technological developments like holographic storage, DNA storage, and further advancements in solid state and cloud storage. The evolution of storage technology from punch cards to cloud drives and beyond shows how much we have learned about data storage over time, leading to more convenient and efficient ways to store and access data. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.